Amici di Napoli News Magazine, siamo qui oggi in compagnia di Leonard Cooper, scrittore, autore, giornalista, uomo di primo piano del Dipartimento di Difesa degli Stati Uniti d'America, ma soprattutto un uomo che ha combattuto la sua battaglia contro il razzismo e che ha voluto raccontarlo all'interno del suo libro The Children of My Knee, che vedete qui a fianco a noi. E oggi è venuto qui per raccontarci un po' la sua esperienza e i pezzi della sua storia. Good morning, Lynn. Thank you for uh, being here. <laughs> And so I think uh, the best way to start is uh, talking about your own story. You have written a story about a, ch- a child born in Alabama, Birmingham, uh, in, a, in a society uh, where racism was so strong. And so My first question is, how, how are you today? Have you won your fight against racism? I don't think the fight against racism ever ends. I think it's always prevalent, always ever present in your life. But you have to make a personal decision on when this mountain of racism is in front of you, do you want to make yourself stronger to walk around it or go through it or go over it? But the end result is you must get past it. I encounter racism often in my life but um, I've decided not to allow it to hold me back and stop me from doing anything I want to do. What kind of climate uh, did you find in Naples? Do you think that Italy can be considered as a racist society? Not really, but you know, every society, whether it's the American society or the French or the Italians, there's always someone in the society that will be held back whether it's the Algerians or the Gypsies or the Blacks or the Vietnamese. When things are bad in society, we look for people to scapegoat. We look for people to blame for our problems sometimes. So racism exists everywhere, but at different levels. I think everywhere in the world, public discourses are full of uh, verbal violence. What do you think they could be the words that should be used in, in order to give uh, the hope for a better future? People need to understand that, you know, the violence, the horrible things we say and do to each other, it should never come to that. We're all rational, intelligent human beings. We should speak of words of love, togetherness, sharing, caring, use these words. It is anger and fighting is such a wasted emotion. It's such a, it's so, it takes so much energy to fight. If we remain calm and collective and peaceful, we could solve many of the world world's problems. But when it comes to racism, if people just treat each other as, as family, as simple as that and then we, it would never come to the violence or the harsh words we use to, to condemn and to confront each other. What we can do is just, it's just calm, just remain calm. Talk to a person as if you're talking to one of your brothers or your sister or family member. Your book c- has received a lot of success. Yeah. On the 30th of October you will present it again at the Città della Scienza. Uh, did you expect all this success? How do you feel inside? What do you feel? Uh, in truth, I wrote this book initially for my children simply for them as a historical yeah. account of my life. But for me, when people are lives are impacted by something I say or I do, it makes it all worthwhile. Yeah. What kind of message or what message you want to give to a person uh, that now is uh, listening to I've you? I always said, if you want to make your life better, do something to make someone else's life better. When you're in the traffic and the gypsy washes your windows, rather than turn the windshield wiper on to make them go away, Give them a euro or two euros or five euros. Do something for that person that will make an impact on their lives. You gave us a big smile. So thank you for being here. Thank you for your interview. Thank you for being in Naples because uh, you made us happy. Thank you. Naples loves you. Honored, honored to be in Naples. Thank you. Thank you.